these guys have got strapping already set up. So the strapping that you're seeing here is gonna tie to this top plate and then it's gonna come up underneath and connect to a drag truss that's gonna come out here. This locks everything together. So you can see we have one here, we have one there and then another one coming off. Let's walk this place real quick. Let's see what we got going. So my plan is pretty simple. I'm gonna start out there, start here and start here. Get these taken care of, that taken care of, and this taken care of. But before we do any of that, we're actually going to head out to the garage, stack that out. That way these guys can stay busy down there and take care of blocking our hardware, any strapping we have, and prep that lower. Reason for that is, is once we start up here, we're setting one truss, two truss, three truss. We have too many people here to be doing a couple trusses with that many. So we'll have a ground guy hooking everything up, strapping everything down below, and then we will have a couple of us up top here. Right now the goal is to move all these trusses out of the way, get them all situated. Underneath there I have a big package that says garage. I need that on the far side over there. So these trusses here are going to stack back as well. That package right there, 24 foot. That's what I'm looking to take over to the garage. Good? No. Born ready. I'm never ready. You were born ready. We were born ready. We were born ready. It's just another beautiful day on the Central Coast. In 50 years, when we tell people that we were born in the 1900s, they're gonna trip out. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that people that were born in 2000 can drink? Really? Already? Well, yeah, Fox, it was 22 years ago. I'm still back there right now. Isn't that terrifying? <laughs> I feel like I haven't aged. <laughs> you haven't. So on areas like this where we have the gable end truss and we're on a single level, I don't have an issue with not sheeting because we can sheet from the ground. We have other work that we could do. Everything's reachable. On areas like this up here, I'm gonna make sure to sheet every gable end. That way we don't have to do it up top. What? What do you wanna do, buddy? I don't know. <laughs> what do we wanna do? What do you wanna do? So depending on how the conditions are, if it's super windy, if we're in a really cramped area where we have say vehicles out here, another house next to it, we'll do what we call a tag line where we attach a rope to the end of it and we have somebody primarily holding that rope all the way over to keep the truss from spinning around, to keep the truss from hitting any other buildings, keeps everything safe. But right now, blocks are going on each and every one. All right, we have one job and one job only, guys. Let's map this place out. I wanted to stack out that garage to where everything gets done and everybody's working. Where did my trust coats go? These guys right here. So that's all those and all those. Well, we can just take those up. Get them out of the way, yeah. We're, I was just gonna. Up. I was gonna put them in the building and just call it. Right, and then you just pass them up, right? Yeah. I mean, that's my thing. Yep. Too. So then, know. what do we have? I want to know. 4D and 3C. Yeah. 4D. That's 4C. This is 040. Zero, 040. Zero. Zero, zero. And then I got 4D1, 4D2. They could have just wrote it wrong. 4D0, that's the first one. Okay, that's that one right there? Yeah. That is to the left of the left, right? That's left side? Left side, right? Looking at like. Like Looking at it like this, left of entry. Yeah. 
be our next one, I'd imagine, right? This one is yeah. PCO. No, it should be the that other side. Next to the sign right there. So this is the back pop, that section there. Yep. This is the front. On this side. Where's, our other? Where's the other section? The other side here. Right up here. This is here? Yeah, 5EO. 5EO. Okay. So then this is Gable for this side. I just want to make sure regardless that we shear every gable to where we're not doing work. So they're going to get these sheared to where everything's taken care of. I'm going to get a couple of these packages dropped up top. They're just filler. The goal behind getting the garage done was so we can put some people over there to take care of hardware and keep people busy over there. You did it! Give me those things back! Let's talk about what we're gonna do here. I want all of these 4D3. Hey Jay, can you locate 4D3? Got four D3. There's seven of them. And there's a double or two, right? Yep. Yep. I'll take it. You want that up there? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So the four D3 that we've got right here, they're gonna go from this corner as a drag all the way over. So my plan for those, I'm just gonna lay them this way on top of this wall and over that wall. I need enough room to get this doubler in here and also enough room to frame out this and this. Basically just looking to get them out of the way. We need to get up top though. Anytime you're up top, that is a no-go. Always make sure your nails are tapped down. So you can see we have a doubler right out there and a doubler over there. We'll have that sitting there two trusses going out and then the direction changes and these trusses stack out this way. So as long as I am before that doubler in here, I'm okay. Goal is to just set these guys down right here and make it work. You know what, they're small enough. I'm gonna set them on the ground. Where do I wanna put these? I'm actually going to set these down like this. Oh, hold, hold, go up. Communication is key. Never work with a crane and not have full visual so they can see you. Always make sure they can see you or somebody. And if they can't, have radios. 5E for this whole section and I'm gonna put it right over here. Get that taken care of as well. Hey, what do we got for 5E4? You're good. Three of them got a double, right? What? Three of them got a double, right? Yeah. Right here. I'll take that whole package to the far side. We'll hook that up next. So that section's gonna go right in here. What you're seeing today is something I haven't really had the opportunity to do much, and that is have X amount of guys over here, some down on the ground taking care of this. I have another one inside doing hardware. 
progress goes a lot quicker like this and I'm able to just think about what comes next and what's going where. I need to get these over to there. Jay is currently sheeting out our gables down there. That'll go here, here, and here. We also have this one. I wanna shear them on the ground to where there's less work up top. Keep all of us safer. This takes care of this section here. They can continue flying in the rest over there. I have 5 e 5 5E1, 5E2. Those are gonna stack out, boom, boom, boom. That completes that face. This is my filler package coming back. From there, what other filler do I need? I have the filler taken care of for here. I have it taken care of for there. 4D4 with these three C2s. So that 4D4 drag should be this one. 4D4 right there. So that is there. All these three C2s will hang off of it. Where's 4D0? That's this one here. This one's going up next. Right yeah, we'll shear that one. That one's going up next. 4D1, 4D2 follow. The, that is this guy right here. Yeah, we'll set that one, the next one, and the next one. That's our doubler, yep. And All three of those. Start, then we start rocking these, these couple right here. Those ones will go over one, two, on this three. back side. Grandpa, when you get down, yeah. come underneath here. Yeah. Your ladder. Seven four and what? Seven four and a half. You mark this up. Seven four and a half. Here. And that was to it. That's to it. You have double on the left. Hook that two foot and go. What's that uh, hardware? H H. H H U S two six two. It's gonna be back corner. Yep. I got you. He can't see. We need to come this way. Let's go in. And down. So the whole time the truss is flying in, I'm communicating with hand signals to crane operator to make sure everything goes well. 
it's key to make sure you have a good communication between crane operator, guys on the roof, and anybody on the ground. If not, things get messy. I have it already. If I can get that drag installed, we can throw up all these, which are all those. Okay. Those are all two BOs. Uh, hey, we need a What's that? Two twelves. Two twelves? Yeah, the truss is stepped down. The valley opens up. Oh, okay. Yep. Give me a second, let me see if I, yeah. if I work. What do we got? 9J0, I think. 9J0, is that big one? The big guy, the 9J2 is the little guy. So then we're gonna throw in 9J1. 9, we're gonna throw in 9J0 as soon as we have this stacked out. The big guy? Yeah. Put him right in there? I'm gonna drop him right in. Garage is all done. Every H1's already installed. We'll go through, block this whole thing out cut back the tails, fascia everything. You can see on the outside there, we have two top cords. These have one, that one has two. The reason for that is we'll cut back into that double top cord to extend tails out for a soffit. Uh, hey, daddy. You want something under there? Uh, hey. Gonna slide that truss. Yeah, this truss is gonna have to move anyway. That's fine. It's small, right? Yeah, we'll bring it up by hand. That's it. Can, can you? Good. Yeah. I'm getting sheathing up here. I want to try to get it up on that platform that we just set. I'm going to have them build out a little box, and if we can get it up there, I think we'd be money. Yeah, it should be all right. Oh. 